So the main adaptation is the ball. So domestically we use a size 3 football with ball bearings, which makes it much easier to, to see and also to hear. The stumps are larger and they're freestanding. They're not dug into the ground. Somebody like myself with no vision is able to compete using hearing alone. There are slightly different rules for the different sight categories. I'm a B1, which basically means no useful vision. As a result, I'm blindfolded. For me, when someone's bowling, to me, it's got to bounce twice before the crease. You bowl this overarm to B2, B3s and high partials, they've got to bounce once or no bounce. You also have to ask the batsman if they're ready. You have to wait for them to say that they are, and as you release the ball, you then have to say play. And then in fielding, the only difference is that the totally blind fielders are allowed to catch on one bounce. A totally blind person can catch the ball on the bounce. Their runs are also doubled and additionally they can't be stumped. The other major rule change is that the, the blind or the B2 batsmen are also allowed to have a runner. They've adapted it and, and kept in mind the need for it to be as close to conventional cricket as it can be, but also to make sure it is competitive. If you're going to travel the length and breadth of the land, there's got to be a proper game at the end of it. Mm -hmm.